Good morning, early morning for me. Morning, Mac Blogs here, aka Ian. Welcome to today's video, which is opening day of Blair Drum and Safari Park. And I couldn't have picked a more beautiful day to come look at the weather, look at the view I currently have just now of the giraffes getting their breakfast. And we'll go and have a look at them in a minute. So join me in today's video, and I hope you enjoy all the updates that Blair Drum and Safari Park has to offer. So let's go. Do get a meet the keeper, the giraffe area. So a Q and A, first time showing here between 12 and 12:45. If you're looking for the giraffe meet up point for the experience, this is where you meet up here. So you've got the ostrich area, and then the giraffe gates here. I'm going to go and have a look at my little friends. If you've watched my previous video, you'll know that that ostrich scares me for some reason. I don't know why. But here they are having their breakfast. And just going into one of my favourite places is the white rhino area. Now again they also have a meet the keeper. So we've got a QA here between eleven and twelve. And I always come here first thing in the morning, see the rhinos have their breakfast before they head out into this amazing weather that we hopefully now have. Amazing animals. And this is where the rhinos sleep. get sleep and fed and cleaned. Over here, a little viewing area for the zebra, the Grant's zebra. They're over there just now, having their breakfast. If you're lucky enough, they come over here to the viewing area. And you can see them closer. And maybe come over later on and see if we can see them closer. I have recommended this before to try and get in early. Obviously I'm a member so I get in an hour early. You do need to pre-book still. So it is kind of like still the, the previous Covid systems where they're monitoring their numbers. But yeah, get yourself booked, come along, try and get yourself early. And you'll see how quiet it is just now here for me. It will get really busy today because of the weather, but it is also popular, so let's see if we can go and have a look at the lions, I think the lions are over, I don't think they're far away just now, but let's see what we can see, there we go, you can just see them over there, Uh, as a drive through safari, so later on I will be driving through. You can see all you can see some of the cars driving through in the morning, which you can do. You can go in the morning and then come into the park again, park up, go for a walk around like I'm doing, and then drive through later on and leave. See all the cars coming through now. So you can do that anytime during the day. I like to do it when I'm leaving, but one day I will do it in the morning. See everyone waking up, all the animals, well everyone, all the animals waking up. 
they've taken up some of the car park in the middle of the park. You've got a new train here. You got some teacups over here, and you've got this kind of fun house idea. Oh, it's a fun house. So it's a cool touch, and then these bungee jumps over here. That's a good touch. That's I don't know if this is going to be here all the time. It looks like it is. Something different. That's a great addition. The train looks pretty cool. That's going to be popular. But we'll see that in action later on. We've still got the mini tractors as well, which is one pound coin operated, and you can get an IV tractor and drive around. And you've got the sand area over there with the boat, all the swings and the slides. So that's a new open area for the sea line. Inside it's still closed because the sea lines are still getting acclimatised to the new home. Here's the penguin area, still here. They do have another meet the keeper. Penguin Q&A between 3.15 and 4 o'clock. So that's something different, that's something new. No penguins yet. So, just coming into the pet farm area, you see all these different animals. There's some just hiding there. Remember to wash your hands when leaving pets So, to see if there's any new animals in pet farm, or the pet farm area. Used to be pigs here, so I think the pigs have changed with sheep. So the last time I came through this pet farm, I got a few comments about my skills and knowledge regarding animals. So yes, I am very poor with animals, not all of them, but some just look different, some look like a sheep or I don't know, can't really tell. <laughs> so let's see what we can find here. I'm still walking around the pet farm area. Got some ducks running around, I know where they are. We've got Ducks have got this little contraption, or I mean, they've got it good. Don't know what this is, but it looks fun. This looks like a seesaw. Is that a seesaw for the horses? Can the horses go in seesaws? Okay, I'm sneaking around with her, sneaking around the big turkey. That is a seesaw, isn't it? What animals can go in seesaws? That's interesting. Right, these are goats, surely. I'm not that bad. They are tiny, but tiny little goats. I don't know why they're eating. Is that what they eat? Do they eat bark? I know goats don't bark, but do they eat it? Are you really going for it? Hmm. There you go, see? I'm learning. I hope you're learning too. We've got a goat eating a trunk. Not swimming trunks, but. But we get. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Who do we have? What do we have? So we've got llamas, chickens, Indian runner, duck. That sounds pretty cool. Alpaca, donkeys, goats. Sheep, pony, pony, sheep. Let's go inside.
Here are things rusting around. Mm. Little holes, look. Put your hands in. So you can pet them. Uh, I don't want to scare them. Oh! No one was trying to jump. Oh, look at that. Oh! Hello. I'm having the breakfast. <laughs> Look at the guinea pigs. Look at the castle. <laughs> Please do not feed the animals. So. Just a reminder that animals do need certain foods, so don't start f feeding them your sandwiches. Oh, there's the horses coming in. Look at that, look. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Amazing. Oh, got a water standoff going on here. <laughs> Still. Oh. oh, they're horsing around. Ah, beautiful horses. Oh, come on over to see me. Now, just next to the horses there, inside the pet farm area, we've got this little kind of seating area, the benches. And you can, is that a moor tiger? It's supposed to be a viewing area down here for a tiger. I can't quite see it yet. Got an electric fence here. Wow. But there's another viewing area up there, so I'll go up there and see if we can see a tiger. I don't think I've ever seen a tiger here. So I've came round the loop there of the pet farm area. I'm going to walk out and I think the last two occasions the tiger viewing platform has been closed and I believe it's now open. So like I just said, I don't think I've ever seen the tiger here. So let's go and have a look. Hopefully I can see it. And another meet the keeper experience here for the tiger, which would be pretty cool. That's between 4 and 4.45. So finally, I get to see the tigers. And they're over there in the corner. You got the meerkat mansion area there. I don't know if they're inside or not. It don't look like they're inside. They might be outside. There they are. Another meet the keeper experience, this time for the meerkats, and it's just next to the meerkat mansion at 2.30 to 3.15. Oh, there's a tortoise, or a turtle. Here we go again with my animals. 
No, I can't see it. There we go. Get a size on. Him or her? I don't know. It's massive. Here we have the train in action. The train's name is Mitchell. And the little tunnel, a thread tunnel there. That's a good touch. I like this. It's something new. Guys will love this. Probably sound too big for it. I will squeeze into it maybe. But yeah. I also nearly missed this little mini roller coaster as well for the kids. So it's next to the bungee jump area at the back of it now. We've got this little roller coaster goes around a look like a kind of caterpillar, I think, I'm gonna say. Right. I'm going into the dinosaur section. Well, I have done a, a separate video on this before, so I will try and link it below or put it in the video somewhere. Good experience. I mean, it's a great addition to the park. I mean, like, who doesn't love dinosaurs? Look at this one just staring at me. Is it gonna move? Is it gonna move? Is it gonna move? Oh, oh, oh. No. Nope. Musical statues. I've got to turn my back and he's gonna move. Oh. Nope. These ones are all dancing. I knew it, see, it moved. Dinosaur one. huge. I always have big gates at these dinosaur places. So like I said, I have been through that bit before, so I will link the full video down below or in the video. Marshmallow fire pits. Ooh. amazing thing about Blair Drummond is you can bring your own food, you can use these barbecues, we've got these benches to sit on, now there is lots of them, it looks like there's lots of them just now but it gets really busy, so just at the dino entrance area, to the left hand side you've got all these areas here, the benches and you can use their grills, barbecues. Now there is this little pixie area, I don't know. About, but I think it's I think it's closed. So this was the pixie area. I think it's just a couple of benches now. So flick your dummy on the tongue, then you drop it in the drum. So this is where. You can put your dummies and you see the little pixie arrows and the pixie doors. 
Oh, was that the button? Borrower's home. And a few benches here as well. So nice and tranquil, apart from the screaming. <laughs> you can hear. But oh, look at that. Can this tree actually talk? Nope. You hear the chimes there. So I am all over the place in regards to the park, but it's purely just because of the time of day and what animals do different things. I want to see different reactions, so rather than just sticking like a loop or going around clockwise or anti-clockwise, I have decided to jump to different areas, which you can see in the video, so hopefully it, it, it kind of goes together and makes sense, but I'm doing it for a reason, just to see all the different animals waking up, getting the breakfast, so I'm back at the zebra area, like I said in the beginning of the video. You can view the, the zebras in this little area and they're probably not going to be there now. I think they're out and about with the giraffes. But, yeah, so they're not here. <laughs> they're still eating. I don't know if there's two elephants here, but one elephant is outside. Let's have a look inside the elephant habitat. See if there's anything different. So, I think the elephant is outside. But if you come in here, oh, some cleaning going on. If you come over here, you can see the ant feeding station. Got a big lettuce here. And you can see all the ants there. What they're doing is they're taking little bits themselves, going down that tube, and they travel along here. I wonder if you can quite see them. They're taking their food, there's little bits of lettuce, all the way along. This chip. This is very long. See, it's still going. I don't know. And then I'm going to here, which is because the leaf cutter ants. You can see them all here. You can see my reflection. Apologies, but I think that's better there. You can see them coming out of the tube. They are better. Going down the branches. That's pretty cool. However, I want to go and see the elephant. So sometimes they're inside, but it is a nice day outside and they're stretching their legs, but you can see their food. So they'll come in and their food will get lowered and they can eat their food in here. They can also get bathed, so nice wash inside and looked after. Also in here, so you can come in here and have a look at that. But let's go back outside. See if we can see the elephant. There it is. See it in the middle there, eating away. Oh, I take a little seat, relax, just at the far end of the elephant viewing area. So, like I said, I've been kind of all over the place, so I've went 
to, to go and see certain animals in certain areas at certain times so I haven't stuck to just going around in a circle so I started off at the giraffe area in the morning to see them inside their habitat and then uh, just kind of walked around centrally went over to the, the farm area at the other end of the, the park and then came back through the central area back over to see the elephants and the giraffes and zebras and again so just taking it easy there's no plan there's no rush for me today and as you can see I'm just chilling relaxing watching the elephant still eat and have his breakfast there's a nice few changes here at Blair Drummond I've seen so there's a lot more for the kids you've seen the kind of fun fair area so there's a little roller coaster, bungee jumps, fun house and the train as well. The train's a good touch. And yeah, it's just been, it's just been freshened up and it looks looks really good. It's good to go for another season. And can't wait to come back here again in the future. So I think, well, I believe the boat that goes to Chimp Island is still closed. However, you can walk to Chimp Island and view them. And I will be doing that as well. So it's a bit of a walk, but I'll show you where you can go and see the chimps if they're out on the island, hopefully they are today and if they're not, I have seen them before in previous videos so you can have a look at them as well which I'll link them down below but I'm going to have 5 minutes here to relax and then I'm going to go to the kind of meerkat area and you can walk around, have a look at them and I'll take you with me so as I said, no rush, just enjoying the day, enjoying this amazing weather you can't go wrong with this weather a little bit chilly still but yeah, it's to, to warm up it's still it's dry, which I'll take that. And yeah, nice day so far. So hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. Click the subscribe button down below, like button. Have you been here before? What would you like to see? And have I missed anything? So let me know in the comments down below. And let's go and explore some more. Did you know elephants can pull up to 11 litres of water into their trunk when they're drinking or bathing? That's crazy. There's another one there as well. Elephants use one tusk more than other, similar to how we favour our right hand over our left, or vice versa. That's pretty cool. And elephants normally amble along at 3 to 5 miles per hour, but if they feel threatened and are aggressive, they can charge at 25 miles an hour. Wow, didn't know that. So the boats are still not in operation and before I did say it reminded me of the Jungle Cruise it goes along that water there all the way to Jump Island which we'll have a look later on so you go in the boat, it takes you around and you have a look at the chimps and come back don't know why it reminds me of Walt Disney World's Jungle Cruise it's just probably because you get in a boat but look how amazing of a day it is here it's getting really, really busy now. There's one of the boats there I was talking about. So, it used to, it's closed just now, like I say, but get in that boat and you've got the water there and go see the chimps but that's currently closed here they have the pedalos that you can go on I don't even know what they are, here we go again with my animals, but I'm going to see a hare. So I've got the mask on to protect the animals, so the animals are, can, take, oh, can catch Covid. I don't want to pass it on, I don't have Covid, but 
last little spread. That's what the, the sign says before you come into Lemurland. So, it's actually called Lemurland. I don't know why I called it Meerkat area. I don't know if there's Meerkats in there, but we've seen the Meerkats earlier on. So, this access is closed. Usually you can see them playing around. But this section here is open. So I'm going to go through this way. What can we see? Look at these little guys. Oop, didn't mean that. That's the life. That's the life, eh? Just sitting, relaxing. Let's see what's in here. That was a black and white roughed lemur. This relaxed species <laughs> enjoys sunbathing. We just seen that, didn't we? Don't really know what's going on here, so this must be their little homes. Because it's nice outside. That's where they are. They're grazing away. Got a brush in the tree there, scratch their backs. Look any itch they have. It's nice and relaxed, this walkthrough. I think I've said that before. I don't think there's, anything, there's nothing in there. It is nice and relaxed here, especially in this weather. Look how peaceful it is. So there's more of the river that I was talking about that the boat goes, which is not on just now, but hopefully in the future, because it's childhood memories that I've got, getting on the boat and going around and seeing the chimps. I mean, they do an amazing job here at Blair Drum and Safari Park, I'm not just saying that, but you can see the animals are well looked after, and they're happy, and just the environment that they, they get to to, to live in and uh, enjoy, so yeah, well done Blair Drummond, really great opening day and hopefully everyone gets themselves along this year and have a look at what Blair Drummond Safari Park has to offer. So now I am on the other side of the closed off path which I've walked around, you know chilling in the sunshine over there, I can't get to them because of this barrier some of the keepers looking after them just now. Loving the sun. Got the brown lemur here. Give me spot any. Don't know if there's any not in the sun. A lot of shade there but... Nope, oh, nope, pigeon. So I have walked all the way up from the far end there where Lima Land is and where the boats are located, not operating, but past the giraffe area, down along here. I'm going to take a left and go across the road there to see Chimp Island. Hopefully the chimps are out in this amazing weather. Why wouldn't they be? So let's go and have a look. Let's it's a bit of a walk, but it's worth it. They've also tarred paths here as well. These are all tarred. They used to be just kind of gravel strips. Don't forget this little photo up here. So the giraffes do come out in this area here 
and sometimes you can get a great photo opportunity by standing inside that box with a giraffe behind you, so you never know. Well, let's go and see the chimps, hopefully. They have a huge area, open areas here. It is pretty quiet today, so far. Opening day. They've got these roped, sorry, these ropes up for roping off a boundary so nobody runs off into the road. And this is the path here towards Chimp Island. I did see this last time, so this area is not roped off here where you've got the water. So just be aware if you have little ones, they don't run off to the side there. So if you want to get your steps in, walk to Chimp Island. As you can see behind me, this is how long I've walked so far. And I've still got that to walk and round the corner. So be aware of deep water as well, so stay away from the edge, like I said, stay on the path. And hopefully we can see the chimps. Surely they're gonna be sunbathing in this weather. They must be. Certainly get my steps in, even though I don't count my steps. Probably should. I can't hear anything just now. I don't know if chimps make any noises. Do they make noises? What noises do they make? So let's have a little walk around. Got a nice little bench here. I don't think that bench was here before. Or that fence. Can't remember. But so the chimps sleep inside there, you see this blue the bridge over the water and there's island over there now I can't see them from here I don't think but I'm gonna go around the corner see if we can see them well you can sit here now I can't remember, I genuinely can't remember but the boat used to go around and you can have a look at the chimps but Let's go this way. You can see the sign saying Chimp Viewing Platform this way. Let's have a little look. See if they're outside. We've got another Meet the Keeper experience here. So between half past one and 2.15pm. I like this idea that they're doing the Q&A with all the different animals. A really good idea. Here's the viewing platform, the viewing area. Oh, I think I can see a chimp. Let's see how much I can zoom in. Can you see them there? See one. Enjoying the sunshine. See they've got a little den over there. Again, that looks new, but I haven't been here for a while. But just look at this view. Like I say, Blair Drumming have done a great job here. Refresh and everything. Everything looks clean, tidy. We've got benches here you can sit down. There's information there about chimpanzees. All over. You can see some of the more signs over there. And you can even pout like a primate. <laughs> I think I said this last time, but it is worth the walk. If the chimps are there and in this weather, then pff, it's it's really peaceful, relaxing, and different now with the, the Q&A, so I won't have time today to go and do the Q&A, but I would be interested to see um, all the different experience, well, all the different Q&A experiences that they have to offer now, so that again, that's something new. Also the sea lion 
area as well, which the outside you can see now, which they've built. So that's the, the hoardings down, and I'll be back hopefully to see the Sea Line show when that is available. So I'm going to go back to the open area, the central area, and see what's new there from a few hours ago that we've seen, and maybe get something to eat. I'll see what I can show you, and something smells really good, the barbecues are going. Oh, really nice to see this weather again. Such a big difference with these tarred paths. So, I got a cheeseburger and chips for £8.70. So, let's have a look at the burger. Really good so far. So, let's get stuck in. Feel nice. The cheese is nice. Expensive, but that's what you're gonna pay when you come to anywhere like Blair Drummond or any theme park or anywhere. So, that is nice. Food was good, um, filled the void. Again, a bit pricey, but you're gonna pay these things anyway when you come to places like this, but it was good, it was nice, no complaints there. Uh, I'm going to have a little quick walk around and see what there is, um, any updates, other things we can look at, and yeah, just take it from there. Oh, uh, Stridge is following me. Yeah, his home's away over there. <laughs> Ostrich knows that I'm terrified of them and he's stalking me. The sea lions are out. So that's me back in the car about to go through the drive through safari and yeah great opening day good to see a lot of things have been refreshed still a few things not opened yet however that's partly just because it's the first day and uh, covid still kind of rules are applied but yeah hopefully that helped that was a good a good day out for me it's currently what time is it just now about half past three so I got here roughly about 10 a.m. this morning and I got to see the tigers for the first time in a long time. I got to see the sea lions outside in their area. The show's not on yet inside, but outside was, was great to see them. I haven't seen them at all, I don't think, ever. So that was good for myself. 
and a lot of the park has been refreshed. So as I said, this is not a full park day at Blair Drummond Safari Park for me. I just wanted to be here for the opening day, see what was new and bring you some information that was going to help you make a decision to come here. But it's always a good day to come here at Blair Drummond Safari. I'll put the other videos down below. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Make sure you click subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment below if you've been. Did you go today? Were you at the opening day today? Uh, if not, are you going to go this year as well? So let me know. Uh, what your thoughts are if you're going but yeah let's go and drive through the safari and have a look at what the animals are doing in this amazing weather so let's go so I am going to show a few clips of the drive through of the safari but if you want to see a bit more detail if there's anything new I'll show you of course but anything in more detail you can click the videos that I've done before here it gives you more of the drive through more information um, so I'll link them down below in the description box so but let's go and have a look at the safari just about to enter the line reserve now you can see the watchtower up there watching all the lions just to make sure they're all behaving there's one of the lions having their dinner here's one right next to me right in front of us being very shy or very tired there's a whole load of them sitting on top of this mound I have, but I've not seen them today up on that podium over there. Usually they like playing around in that podium, but they look all tired out. That's a life in this weather. That looks like a new podium there. So maybe they've been playing on that one. That's different. So that is new to the park. That wasn't there last season. Not a zebra crossing, but a lion's crossing. If you've seen my previous video, that was funny. So into the monkey reserve. So I need to drive very slow in case there's any monkeys running around on the road. You see quite a lot of them in the window up there. There's two there. One's cleaning the other one. A little grooming going on. We've got some crossing the road. Don't know what this one's about to do, but I think he's just playing a game with me. Don't know what he's doing. Nope, he's just sitting there. I thought he was going to cross the road there. Just everywhere you look, there's monkeys. Of course, in the monkey area. And then we've got monkeys monkeying around up there. Why did the camels block the road? So we couldn't go home. I've been sitting in a queue for about 10 minutes trying to get by. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. It shook its tail at me. That means goodbye. To be fair, the camels are always the star of the show. They love a little pose, love stopping traffic. So, yeah. Got of the camels, but that's going to be bit, bleh, but that's going to be me for this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed my quick visit out here back to Blair Drum and Safari. It's great to be back here, great to be kind of spring summer feeling and get yourself out here if you can. So, that's all I can say. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my videos, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye bye.